playing it safe, Ontario MPPs have elected veteran progressive Conservative MPP Ted Arnott as the Speaker of the Legislative Assembly. Arnott, a 28-year member who represents Wellington Halton Hills, edged Conservative MPPs Randy Hillier, Jane McKenna, and Rick Nichols for the right to referee the sometimes raucous proceedings in the House. MPP Ted Arnott was elected Speaker on the first ballot, Randy Risling, Toronto Star, I want to thank all of you for your support as I undertake this new responsibility, said the new Speaker, who succeeds former Liberal MPP Dave Lovick, who did not run in the June 7 election that brought Premier Doug Ford's Conservatives to power after almost 15 years in opposition. Read more. MPPs electing new speaker article continued below for now, Ford government will not be firing Hydra One boss, I'm well aware of the challenges and the responsibility that's entailed by being the speaker and I truly want to be fair and impartial as I discharge the duties of this office, said Arnott, who had served as deputy speaker when the Liberals were in office under Premiers Dalton McGuinty and Kathleen Wynne, the speaker is indeed the servant of the House, just as I'm the servant of my constituents and as you are all the servants of your constituents, he said, I want to extend the same curse courtesy and service that I have given my constituents over the years to all of you as members because we serve you as individual members as well as collectively. Arnott's new post comes with a $152,914 salary, a $36,364 boost in members' base pay, and a spacious third-floor apartment in the legislature. It was decided in a secret ballot by the 123 of 124 MPPs who are at Queen's Park. Hillier, Lanark Frontenac Kingston, a longtime Maverick MPP, had campaigned on a platform of giving backbenchers more power in the House. Article continued below McKenna, Burlington, returning to Queen's Park after a four-year hiatus, had hoped to make to make history as the first woman to become Speaker. She was elected in 2011 and then defeated in 2014 before making a comeback on June 7. Nichols, Chatham Kent Lemington, a former deputy speaker, had wanted to bring his experience as a baseball umpire and basketball referee to corral MPPs during the legislative proceedings. The legislature will continue Thursday with a speech from the throne read by Lt. Gov. Elizabeth Dowds while outlining the new Tory government's agenda. Government House Leader Todd Smith said the administration's first three priorities are legislating an end to the strike at York University, repealing the cap-and-trade law governing Ontario's environmental alliance with Quebec and California, and cancelling a controversial wind farm in Prince Edward County. Wednesday also marked Ford's first day in the House. He is the rookie MPP for Etobicoke North. The new premier appeared relaxed, greeting PC, NDP, Liberal, and Green MPPs as he moved around the legislature during the voting for the speaker. The star is there on the first day Doug Ford's new government sits in the legislature. Conspicuously absent was Wynne, who represents Don Valley West. Interim Liberal leader John Fraser said, she is taking a well-deserved holiday, Fraser said Wynne will not be at the throne speech but she will return the house during this brief July session, you'll see her this summer, he said.